Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction to eating some Corbin. I'm Rex, and you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter, Twitter for more juicy it's, content. It's so juicy. Patreon, 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 Whatever you just did right then, felt like it entered my inner sanctum. You gross. Uh, what are we doing, Rick? Uh, we are going to stare at pictures of Bette Midler. Oh, really? Oh, we're not? No. Dang it. Yes. That's what you told me we were doing. I know. Uh, we are reacting to most inspiring speech of Mary Kong. Oh! But uh, most inspiring speech of America, six-time world boxing champion, great Indian minds. Uh, it's her birthday today, March 1st. Happy birthday. Uh, great people are born in March, Priyanka. Born March 1st, 1983. Oh, it's Mary Kahn's birthday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not Priyanka what we're talking about. <sighs> Happy she birthday, just Mary Kahn. <laughs> Got excited. I realized when I looked at it, I'm like, wait a minute. First of all, that's not Priyanka's birthday. Second of all, it's right next to Mary Com's name. I'm trying to so pawn read it. it. Trying to pawn it off as Priyanka's birthday? No, I said from the beginning. An Indian Olympic boxer who is also the only woman to become world amateur boxing champion for a record six times. She became the first Indian woman boxer to get a gold medal in the Asian Games in 2014 and Incheon, South Korea, and is the first Indian woman boxer to win gold at the 2018 Commonwealth Games. We reacted to the Mary Comp trailer. Yes, we did. Yes. Uh, a while back. Uh, so this is a speech from the actual Mary Comp. Which, is this an actual speech she gave and it was given verbatim in the screenplay? Or do we know? No, this is not from the film. This is actually her. This is actually Mary Com. I thought this was from the film Mary Com. No. Got it. Here we go. Awesome. In my family, I am the elder one. So I have uh, my, I have brother and sister. My younger brother, my younger sisters are there. They're uh, still in, the, in my family. So I have to go and do something for my family to get a job. I always uh, challenge when the people just laughing. Oh, I'll show you one day. That is my challenge. After getting a, a five-time world champion, they all quiet and they respect me. I'm very look like very different. I look like the Chinese or uh, Thailand or uh, uh, Japanese. <laughs> they're, she probably they're comes from the northeast. No? They never expect them in boxing. Uh, it's a discipline. When we are not angry, I think it's not a boxer. It's not a real boxer. So when we get in the ring, if we do not uh, angry, then I think we can't we can win the bout. In Manipur, uh, the top players, mostly the top players, and their background is very, very poor. I'm also the same thing. I'm also come from the poor family. So we have to do more hard work to get a job, to get a money, to get a better life. I miss my kids and they miss me. Very difficult, but I have to do for my country and I have to fulfill my dreams. I have to make a second Mary Kong. I thought Mary Kong. I just want to contribute in my state, my country. I just want to uh, contribute to the youngster. So I have to make a youngster uh, Olympic champion. I always remember the story of David and Goliath. <coughs> David is a small 
boy. Goliath is a big man. How can David kill the Goliath? So I always remember I'm also small and my tool stack is a very small. So if I pray, if I do very hard work, then I will win. And without boxing, I I I imagine that I can't live without boxing <laughs> because. I love boxing. I love boxing very much. Yeah, I'm so glad we're getting to see some of her fighting for this. Oh. I'm gonna watch her fight. Hmm. Hmm. How much did you know about Mary Calm? Um, astonishingly, nothing. Nothing, um, yeah, I mean. Yeah, because. I say astonishingly because, but I know she love had, fighters. I know she had to because uh, she was older when she won. She did. She had kids, so she had to leave them to train. Yeah, and in all sincerity, I was growing up. Uh, boxing was a much different world when I was growing up than it is today. Um, at every weight level, boxing is trash. Bo yes, boxing was the preeminent and only not just fight form, but the world watched. Uh, it was post Mike Tyson is when professional boxing stopped being an international phenomenon and was replaced by mixed martial arts. Mm -hmm. um, and it was at that time, interestingly, that thankfully the UFC went from being just cage fighting spectacle and actually became legitimized uh, uh, martial arts competition with rules and licensing and everything else under uh, Dana White. Uh, and the brothers that bought UFC and literally changed it. And I was there at the beginning of that because I remember when people started talking about cage fighting, which was UFC's first incarnation, I was like, garbage, I'm not watching that. Uh, no weight classes, no rules. It just was ridiculous to me. And then I remember someone telling me who knew I loved boxing and I wasn't watching boxing anymore, you should watch UFC. I'm like, the cage fighting stuff? They said, oh, no, 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 it's changed. And so early on I started watching, but because of that, I think that's one of the main reasons I never heard about her because I haven't paid attention to, I'll watch Olympic boxing sometimes. Mm -hmm. Whereas I used to, every Friday night, HBO had Friday night fights. Every Friday night when I was a teenager, I watched boxing. Really? Up and coming boxers. Yeah. Who was coming up and watched the heavyweight championship fights, the middleweight contenders. This is back from the days of Muhammad Ali all the way up through Holmes followed Ali that was followed by, you can name all the heavyweights in that list that go up into Mike Tyson. And then you had all of the guys that fought with Sugar Ray Leonard and Marvin Hagler and, and uh, uh, Tommy Hearns. Uh, and then it just went, and now I know the names of UFC fighters. But yeah. she's somebody who- uh, I would love to see- Love to watch like a fight. An, an epic fight of hers, like a, uh, one of her legendary fights. I'd yes. love to watch that. So if there is one, that won't get blocked because I don't because cricket has rules rules you can't do anything cricket or they'll block it so I don't know if they have that same thing with boxing um, if we'll, we'll have to chop it up a and, lot and uh, this is actually the first time I've actually seen and heard her her yeah which the minute I saw her look like Bronca. that was my thought I mean okay yes I get it if a name person who's gonna sell tickets wants to portray somebody I get it she wouldn't be my first second third fourth fifth or sixth choice to play her. Because obviously Bronca is beautiful. Well, yeah, uh, it doesn't even. She's, she's, she's not like, even remote, no, remotely well, close to a Northeast Indian. One of the and, yeah, like that and one of the most gorgeous people ever. Yeah, uh, being a fighter, being a fighter. Yeah. Um, so that's strange, but you know, it's Bronca. So I exactly. also, I also get the other side. Yeah, I do. You need to sell tickets. You do. Sadly. Yeah. Uh, you uh, only, you know, or you're just gonna have an independent or, film that won't make. Anything. Yeah, or you get an independent film that's done so freaking well that everybody's talking about it, which I would defer to that. The purist in me would rather have somebody who more approximates the appearance of the person when you're telling a true story. Yeah. Uh, then not, so I'm kind of interested to see. And does does Priyanka? I don't even remember watching the trailer that if she had um, any kind of the vocal. Uh, pattern that she does with speaking English. Um, no idea. And the other thing is, I don't remember from the trailer, how well can Priyanka fight? I'm sure she trained. I'm sure she had training just, yeah. like, just like Tom Hardy. I really want to watch it now. Just uh, just like Tom Hardy trained oh, man. for uh, Warrior. Warrior. Oh, epic. If you, if you haven't seen Warrior, Warrior oh. 
absolutely great and one of the best. But it's my favorite MMA film. Oh yeah, it's like it's like one of my favorite sports films. Right? It's a great sports film Same. and really, really believable uh, fight sequences. Greatest performance by. Um... What's the dad's name? Uh, Nick Nolte. Nick Nolte. Phenomenal performance. His greatest performance. You know, another good fight one, which is put it in quotations. You've seen Warrior? Uh, not Warrior, sorry. Uh, the Wrestler with Mickey Rourke. Yeah. That does a very good job of depicting professional wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. That was really good. Really good. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Let us know if there's other fights of hers or uh, uh, speeches or something like that. We'll of, of hers that, of hers. We can, that we can learn more about her because I know she's an icon in the in Indi Indian sports. Indi uh, Indian sports. Yeah. And in international boxing. Yeah. Yeah. So let us know.